Uh, I'm Clay Cook. I make noises for Zach Brown Band. Started playing guitar probably seven years old, and I'm 41 now, so that's a, that's a big number uh, that I don't ever think about. I do remember my first guitar. I have it still. It was a Franciscan three-quarter size classical guitar. Uh, I think it's Taiwanese. Um, I would, since I was seven, and I'm not a particularly big fellow, uh, smaller guitar, uh, classical strings easier on the fingers. Uh, it, it allowed me to start making chords pretty soon. Uh, back in the 80s, 70s, and 60s, it was hard to get a beginner guitar that actually played well. And so it frustrated a lot of kids who were my age. But I think we found our way around it with classical guitar. It had a smaller neck. And I still have it. It's hanging in my music room. John Mayer and I went to college together at Berklee College of Music for one glorious year together. I was there for two years total, but we, I think unanimously between the two of us, uh, decided that we needed to start our careers. And uh, I felt like I've gotten out of Berkeley everything that I wanted to get out of it. And um, we wanted to start playing music and playing songs and becoming a group. You know, we were a duo for about a year or so after that, a year and a half. And so mainly it was acoustic, two acoustic guitars. We came in our own at in the Decatur music scene in Atlanta, and it's where Indigo Girls came out of, and Billy Pilgrim, which, and Soul Miner's Daughter, which became Sugarland, and Sean Mullins was actually huge at the time, and it was all coming out of that one place, Eddie's Attic, in, in Atlanta, and uh, they took us in and championed us, and uh, eventually propelled him to to his first solo record, really. He was telling me he was developing this thing with PRS, and he, he, it was funny because he didn't want to divulge too much until he could, you know. Uh, and he, he finally, when it came out and he started playing it, he says, oh, I, I, want you, I want you to check it out. I want you to see how, how it goes with you. And I started playing it uh, on stage, and it, it is not a vintage Stratocaster. It's a completely different thing, uh, but it makes that noise. It feels completely different. I feel like the envelope of the note is completely different, but it makes it makes the same sound as a Stratocaster, and it it all ha it has all the modern convenience of it, of better intonation and the way that the tremolo works. Everything just sounds even, and it. It, it's found a place in the set list. Like I pretty much play that for all single coil sounds. The 594 is a great, great humbucker guitar. I mean, it's it's very much what you want out of a humbucker guitar as far as intonation and sustain and the way the, the note envelopes is, again, different than, say, a Gibson Les Paul or a Flying V or something like that. But uh, it's just a well-made instrument. You know, just solid, solid. You just, you can feel it in your hands vib vibrating all the way through the instrument. I guess I'm just a guitar player at heart. Um, I really enjoy playing uh, the Hammond organ because it's a lifetime instrument too, just like pedal steel is or any of them really. So my uncle is, and has been since the beginning, he's the lead singer of Marshall Tucker Band. And about a year after I, after Mayer and I broke up when I, when I was 21, he called me and he said, do you know how to play sax and flute? Because I know you can play keyboards a little bit. I was like, yeah, totally I can play sax and flute. Um, what, what, what's going on? He was like, can you be ready to tour in a month? I said, yeah, sure, absolutely. And I hung up the phone and I ordered a, I bought a alto sax and a flute off of eBay and practiced for a month and I'd never played either of those things before and went and played with Marshall Tucker Band and that was my job for two almost three years and uh, eventually uh, I did another stint with them where I was playing pedal steel and uh, electric guitar but that was uh, that was the Marshall Tucker Band for me I learned every 
almost everything that I still do out here on the road as being a touring musician, living in a bus, showering at the venue, eating catering, knowing how to walk around union guys while they're pushing cases, all that stuff. I learned that when I was 21 from my uncle giving me a job. Uh, I call it nephewtism, you know, because it's basically what that was. But I learned everything uh, that prepared me for the next 20 years in that first year. Traveling, traveling is the biggest thing, like living in a hotel room or a bus, planes, how to pack. I mean, I, can, I packed yesterday to come here in seven minutes, packed everything that I needed. But some people, it takes them half a day to pack to go to Disney World or something. You know? I just learned how to pack. Koi Balls is, uh, he's a character. He's, I mean, I don't think there's anybody in this world like him. And he's, he's a fantastic musician, great songwriter, really creative dude, super positive, but possibly the best conversationalist I've ever met in my whole life. Hi, I'm Clay Cook from Zach Brown Band. Check out PRS Guitars at AmericanMusical.com.